Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm finally going to be filming my entire SLG collection and I can't wait to share them with you. So if you're interested, do keep on watching. Before I get right into the video, I think that this is going to be a really, really long video. So I would suggest that you grab yourself a cup of coffee so that you can enjoy it with me. I'm going to try as much as possible to group all these SLGs into categories so that it's easier to show it to you and for you to compare and see which suits your lifestyle better. The very first category that I'm going to touch on is actually card wallets and the first one that I want to share with you is this Saint Sophie's card wallet by Goyard. I recently picked this up in Paris and I have not used it yet but it's super pretty. It comes in this brown leather and coated canvas print and then on the interior there is this yellow really really shiny bright yellow lining that makes you so happy just by looking at it. So this card wallet has a total of one, two and then three, four. So four card slots on the exterior and then it has a big pocket on the interior that you can probably put like two to three cards in. I have not used this card wallet so I can't really comment on it but I just think that it looks really pleasing to the eye. It's very aesthetically pleasing. So if you're someone who is into Goyard and the Goyard print, I think that this is one very good piece to pick up to try and see if you like the idea of the Goyard canvas print and it also comes with the leather so I think it's like a two-in-one you can try out their leather and the coated canvas as well so I think this is a great piece from Goyard to pick up if you are looking for a card wallet the second card wallet is actually by Louis Vuitton I picked this one up last year and it's this gold um, card wallet by LV this is part of their garden special collection if I'm not wrong and they came out with a lot of bags and this was just like a very special piece. I really like this print because it has like gold finishing and then there's like this watercolor print like flower printing all over it and I thought it was just like so so pretty and the interior is actually lined with like the pink color including the ones at the side as well. So I thought that was just really really nice. This card wallet is actually entirely in canvas. The design is actually screen printed onto the surface itself. So there's no embossing or debossing whatsoever as you can see. So I really like that about it. And this one comes with two uh, card slots. So one on this side and the other one on the other side. And just like an interior card slot. It feels very substantial and very weighty like how you would think that LV canvas will feel very very thick and luscious. I have used this quite a bit and you can squeeze like two or three cards on the exterior itself but I usually just put two. I think what I really like about it as well is that in the middle it's actually imprinted all the way to the end so the design doesn't just stop at this corner it actually goes all the way to the end which I think was just a very nice detail. I feel like some companies would not bother to do that simply because like you're not going to see it anyway um, but I thought it was just a very nice touch. Either that or they actually meant for this to be like a singular like cut slot and then they thought like oh why not just include like two exterior pockets here which is why it goes all the way through to the end but I just thought that it was a really nice touch anyway and I really like that the interior is this really pretty and sweet pink color so that's very very nice. I have used this quite a bit um, but I recently shifted back to my Chanel card case so I gave this one a break. The next card wallet is something that I have had for ages and I kind of like retired it all together because I don't use it anymore. It's none other than my YSL card wallet. I love this card wallet to bits. This is actually my very first designer card wallet that I own and I picked this up I think in Paris in 2018 and ever since then I have had this. I think I only kind of like switched out of this like sometime during COVID so I used this for like a good two and a half years before I switched out of it and you can see that it is very very well used and well loved. The exterior here has kind of like peeled off. I had to like peel some of it out because like these parts were like peeling all together if you can see 
um, it's not in the best condition as you can tell but I have used this thing to bits and like it has seen me through a lot and a lot of use <laughs> I feel like if you're getting into designer card wallets altogether this is a very good piece to pick up for your first card wallet because this is still considerably affordable as compared to all the other card wallets out here I think and it's just really really hard wearing and substantial so on the front pocket there are like two card slots over here and then on the back there are also two card slots that you can slot in your cards and then one big one in the middle as well so I really love this so much I have used this so so much as well because I think back in the day this was the only card wallet I had so it was like what I use every single day so this card wallet is actually in gold hardware but because I've used it so much there is tarnishing going on at the front of the hardware so that's just something to note I feel like for YSL card wallets yes they are hardy but the hardware also tarnishes to be fair I've used this a lot so I think it's bound to happen <laughs> Out of all the card wallets out there, I feel like this is the best option if you just want to dip your toes a little bit into luxury and get a card wallet, then this one is the one that I will recommend. Next up, I have this Loewe card wallet and it's in this anagram bladder print over here. And then at the back, there are a few card slots. There's like one, two, three, four card slots at the back. And then there is also a zipper here that you can open and put coins or cash or whatever your heart fancies. <laughs> this is just a very simple uh, card wallet. I believe LV does something similar as well. And a lot of people swear by the LV card wallet. It's just that I picked up the Loewe version instead. I just really like this anagram print and this beige taupey color. It's just super super pretty and I love it. I'll be honest and say that I don't get a lot of use out of this because I prefer to use other card wallets but from time to time I'll try to take this out and make use of this as well so I really really love this I feel like this is also very great for travel it's like an all-in-one you can have your cards on the outside and then the inside you can put like all your currencies and notes as well and you can also put like hair pins or like your SD cards if you need to Everything goes inside here and it's just like a one size fits all. So I really like this about this card wallet. This is by Loewe and it's in full leather. So I think it's very worth the price. Next up, I have this Kelvi Duo by Hermes and it's in the Epsom leather. It's in this grain leather. My Kelvi Duo is actually a verso which means that the exterior and the interior is a different color. So on the exterior, it is gold in color and then on the interior is actually the very pretty vert fit color which is sort of like a mint green color I got this when it just launched they just launched a new color and this is actually a duo so the Kelvies actually come with the original Kelvies as well as the Kelvy duos so the Kelvy duos actually have an additional pocket over here that you can put your coins in and what I really like about it is that you can actually pull this up so that it's easier to access your coins and cash and then you push this down so that is the Kelvy Duo and my SA actually told me that it's quite fantastic because this entire thing is made in one piece of leather and it's not separate so that's why you actually can't pull this entire thing up because it's already sewn in together with the piece itself so that's why it's um, very very well loved in all honesty I have not made use of this yet but I'm intending to soon because I just want to see how the Kelvy Duo works for me so I'm going to switch out into this really really soon after this video so yes this is my Kelvy Duo from Hermes sticking with Hermes I also have the Hermes Bastia this is in the Chef leather and this is in the color Etoupe so it's this really really nice like elephant grey color and has one snap closure over here that you can put your coins in if you have not seen my video talking about my five most used SLGs I'm gonna pop it up over here and out of the entire thing I feel like I really really love the Bastia a lot so the Bastia is meant for I would say coins and cash and what I really like about it is that 
my coins do not actually escape from this contraption. I can actually move it around. So it makes it very easy when I want to like look for coins because sometimes you can't really see what coins you have. So you can actually tilt these coins out and like just pick what coins you want. And usually I'll just fold like dollar bills inside and just put it here. So ever since I got to know how great the Bastia is, I have been using this for my cash and coins, which is why I do not tend to use like other things to put like my coins and cash anymore because I've been so reliant on this piece. I really like the chef leather. It is slightly waxy, so it's just something to get used to because when I first touched it, it was like a little bit oily to touch, but it's not really like oil, it's just like how the leather is. Another thing about chef is that it kind of like leaves indentations quite easily as you can see on my piece over here so there's like a nick over here and then a nick it's not really a nick like a scratch but it's more of like an indent so on the back it's a little bit more obvious because of the snap closure so there is bound to be indentations if you choose to go with chef leather but i just really like how the chef leather feels as compared to the epsom leather i mean to be fair i've not used this quite so much yet so I can't really like give you a good comparison but so far I just really really like the chef leather. So those are my Hermes card cases and I'm gonna move on to Chanel. So Chanel I have this card wallet that I have had for a long while now. I believe I got this during COVID like in 2020 or 2021 so I have used this a lot since then this is in full caviar leather and then at the back there is a Mona Lisa card slot that you can put your card as well so I tend to put the card that I always use very often at the back here this is in gold hardware so the CC's are in gold and then on the interior it's actually lined in black leather I believe some versions if I'm not wrong come with like maroon lining I'm not sure if the maroon is like fabric lining or not but it does come with like maroon lining and you can see exactly how many cards I actually have fit into this thing. It fits all the cards that I will ever need and I do have a lot of lot of cards with me. And then there is also a front pocket here which I've just used to put my authenticity cards. So Chanel SLG still come with authenticity cards for now. I'm not sure in the future if they're going to change it to the chip format. So this is my... Uh, Chanel card wallet that I really really love. For those of you who are new here, my name is Amelia and I do videos on luxury and lifestyle so if you enjoy these kind of videos, do consider subscribing, click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. So apart from that, I actually have this Gucci uh, Zippy coin wallet as well. I would say that this is actually not really like meant for a card wallet. It's actually part of their games collection so this actually is used to store the cards that came with the case itself so like playing cards you know I'll be very honest and tell you that I'm very sure I have it somewhere but I have no idea where the playing cards went to it's probably in one of like the boxes that I put all my designer like stuff in so this is the card case that came with it and I think that this is just the most ideal card case because it is slightly cheaper than the normal card case and it also is able to put all your essentials like cards etc and i can put in like a lipstick as well i can put in my airpods i can put in everything into this really like nifty card case and i think it's just like a really great hack i actually got this idea from a youtuber i believe her channel is called minx for all i'm not sure if her name is mini i could be wrong um, but she gave this idea to me and I thought it was like really really brilliant uh, because she has quite a few Gucci pieces as well. So this is like Gucci on a budget because you get a card wallet that comes with this which is what I think all of us are eyeing after and you also get the playing cards as well if you really really want it. So this card case comes in canvas and it has the classic GG logo as well as the green and red strap on it all the way through to the back and it comes with gold hardware and then on the interior is this really really nice like foresty print I have no idea how to describe this 
but I think it was like a design for their oh my god but I think it was like a design for their playing cards as well at that point of time so that was really nice so this is my card case from Gucci next up I also have the LV key clay I'm sure I've talked about this in many of my videos now I carry this every single day and I attach my keys to it so first up I have my car keys my car fob attached to it along with this like Bottega strap <laughs> that I just placed on it and then I also have this charm from Celine this A charm which I thought was really really pretty so I just attached it over there I really like the key clay because I find that I can put all my keys inside there and just zip it shut so that there are no keys like kind of like poking out this one is fine because it has like no sharp edges to it I find the normal cut cases by like LV um, you know the ones that you hang inside I don't really like those because I feel like sometimes if your keys are like longer and it sticks out it's still going to like jab the interior of your bag especially if your bag interior is in leather so I don't really want to worry about that or like be concerned with that all the time so I figured that the LV key clay just makes more sense for me and I don't carry that many keys around I only have this car fault which is not going to fit inside but I really like the fact that it's just hanging outside anyways and then I have my house keys I have my office keys and actually that's about it I don't have any other keys at all so yeah I feel like if I have an access card like a office access card so to speak I will also put it inside here so that I can tap it easily either that or on the back pocket of the Chanel card wallet so that I can tap it easily but when I go to office I actually use my fingerprint to open the door so I don't even use like an access card the next SLG I have to show you is actually by Hermes and it's this Kelly compact I don't know whether you call this the Kelly Compact or the Kelly Pocket, whichever it is. It's this one over here. It comes with the Kelly buckle at the front. So my piece over here is actually in Madame leather. It's this really nice, like luxurious looking leather. As you can see, the grains are like a little bit smaller than I would say Epsom. And it's just really, really smooth and luxurious. Um, I'll be honest and say that it was because I won this in noir and at that point of time the noir version only comes in madame leather so I decided to just pick it up it's slightly more expensive for like a hundred dollars as compared to Epsom I'm actually quite glad that I picked this in this madame leather because now I, that I've seen Epsom I find it like just a little bit too like plasticky although I've not given this that much use I would say that madame leather is somewhere like in between these leathers so the chef leather is actually very soft and very like waxy feeling I would say that the Madame leather is somewhere like in between it's very very nice and polished and it doesn't feel waxy to the touch it just feels very luxurious and then the Epsom leather just feels very um, artificial like very like plasticky as well so I would say that actually I'm quite glad I picked this up in the Madame leather if not I would not know how it feels so the Kali Compact actually comes with this slot over here and then on the interior you can actually put your cards and then there is also a zip pocket at the back where you can put your coins if you wanted to I have not used this back pocket at all I've just been using like the interior to store cards this piece from Hermes is not the cheapest thing out there and it's very expensive for what it is but I just really like how it feels I think it just looks really really nice and elegant a lot of people will complain that this looks too big for what it is and I can safely tell you that I can only put half of what I put in here into the Hermes compact so that's how little it fits because it has this tapered thing over here and this is just like excess leather but it just adds to the aesthetic of it so I feel like this card case is more for its aesthetics it just looks nice and I just really really just like how it looks and if you like the Kelly look I think this one is a great piece to have in your collection so I really really like this I have been considering getting the Constance Slim simply because I don't want the Constance to go I feel like if I really were to get the to go piece I want the Kelly to go instead but now that I have some time to mull over it I'm not even certain if I really want the Kelly to go anymore simply because it's really a lot of money with that kind of money I feel like 
I would rather put it towards a mini Lindy instead that can fit more. So that's just something I'm considering. I only have one Continental wallet to show you and it's this one by YSL and it's in this chevron uh, grain leather as well. I feel like YSL calls it their pebbled leather so I'm just going to call it the pebbled leather and it comes with gold hardware. It was the same time that I picked up this little card wallet as well so I got these two together in Paris 2018 and I just really really like this. Prior to this I was using like my Marc Jacobs wallet I think and I really like that one as well. But I thought it was time to actually pick up a designer version of it so I picked this one up and it fits a lot a lot of things. So I do still have cards inside here. I have mainly my name cards and then I have some student pass that I have not thrown away and this is like an old easy link card as well and then there is a slot over here to put your coins and cash which I still have coins I can't believe it oh my god <laughs> Extra money! There are also more card slots over here, like a lot and a lot of card slots. And I have a whole ton of like, what, are, what do you call it, like gift cards? Not really like gift cards, I think there are like stamp cards from like Tiong Bahru Bakery etc. So I keep all these inside here. I don't really use these cards quite so much anymore because a lot of the companies here have gone digital like in terms of membership. So you just need to scan the QR code or type in your mobile phone number and they actually can track your membership. So I think that's great. Um, and then over here at the back pocket, there's also another slot as well if you want to put more things. So. Yes, this is the only Continental card wallet that I have in my collection. I don't use this one very often, but I still place this and it's on my desk every day. I look at it every day. I'm not sure why, but I also heard from somewhere, was it like the luxury live show that Kat and Amy does, that having a Continental like full-size wallet is also great because to a certain extent, I still like my notes, like my cash, to be kept creaseless. So for a very long time, I am not very keen on like smaller wallets bringing cash out because I don't like folding notes. I like it when they are like crease free and wrinkle free. Um, but that's not going to happen if you want like a card case to put it into your smaller bag these days. So I still keep this and I don't think I'll get rid of it because I do not think that I will ever get a large size continental wallet anymore. Unless I am thinking about the Hermes, um, what do you call that? The only one I'm sort of thinking about adding to my collection is actually the Hermes Bian wallet, the long size continental wallet as well. Simply because I think you can fit a phone inside the slot and I think it's just very nice to bring it out and you can also fit like a checkbook inside as well. Not that I'm using checks but like you know it's nice. So that's something I'm considering but definitely not on the priority list and not in the near future at all. So apart from all these SLGs that I have, I have a whole ton of LV SLGs which I've already done a video that I'm going to link over here. Um, I'm just going to go through them one by one but I thought I'll show you the Chanel one. This one I recently picked up and it's the Old Case Mini from Chanel and it comes in caviar and light gold hardware. At the top it has a zipper over here and then inside you can just put whatever you want and it has the maroon fabric lining inside as well. I thought that this would be great to travel with. I intend to put my air fly inside, my SD cards, my spare battery, my you know like charger as well inside here so that I can bring it on board the plane. So I think I'll use this mini old case for that purpose. So I'm going to move on into my LV pieces and I'm just going to briefly talk about each one. The first one is actually my LV passport case. I have had this for quite a while now and now I just use it to put my MBS uh, coupons inside. <laughs> It has no other purpose except to do that and then I also put like my IDP inside which is like my international driving license. I don't really use this to carry my passport anymore because I find it quite a hassle. Like I still have to take my passport out of the case and then like, I just like put it in. But sometimes I still bring this abroad because I just want to look a little bit bougie and <laughs> I'll just bring this. But I still end up taking my passport out all the time and just putting this in my bag. So I think I've sort of like given up and use this as like 
something to put my coupons in. So in this passport holder, there is this pocket over here and then there are also a few card slots over here that you can put your cards and then there is also a pocket here that is not flappable. So my LV passport holder is actually an older version. The older versions have this flap that you can open up over here and then a static flap over here. I believe the new ones are both like static and you can't flap this out. I was hunting for this uh, on carousel because I wanted the older version that has this flap because I find it just easier to take your boarding pass in and out or your passport for that matter so I prefer this version so if you are intending to look for this version then I feel like you need to look for the older versions I'm not sure when they stop like discontinuing this style uh, but definitely something for you to consider. The next SLG that I have from LV is actually this mini pochette in Damia Aban. Don't you find it very interesting that they call this SLG as well? Because SLG stands for small leather goods. This is not leather. This is canvas. So <laughs> I'm just very amazed. I just happen to think about it like why are we calling this SLG when this is not a leather piece but anyways this is still considered SLG in my head. I picked this up in Paris last year and then on the interior there is this really really nice fabric red lining and it just comes in like shiny gold hardware. Let's just see how long this shiny gold hardware will last because I mean LV hardware tends to tarnish all the time. So I picked this up in Damia and Ben instead of the classic monogram print because it does not have a cutter over here so you know I don't have to worry about like rain spots or anything and it's just really really fast free. I tend to bring this out if I'm just running out for a very quick errand because it kind of like fits my card case exactly here and then I'll pop in the car fob as well and I'm good to go and then I'll just put like my airpods if I really need to and yeah that's that and I just think that this is really really handy as well I'm sure a lot of people have the mini pochette and they'll tell you like this is one of the best SLGs out there which I can see why it's just that because I have a lot of SLGs, sometimes I just like rotate them here in and out. So this is my mini pochette. The next one is actually a discontinued piece and it is this LV toiletry case. This is in the size 15 if I'm not wrong. I also picked this up secondhand from like a carousel seller and I think at that point of time they were already thinking about discontinuing it so I got really like anxious. I just wanted to pick up a piece but I think that the piece that I actually really wanted was the 19 size just that I can't find it so I picked this up in the 15 size. Um, in the interior I actually have a Samoga lining that I have these two clips but I'll say that it doesn't really work very well. I feel like the gold piece over here is supposed to stick out of here so that I can attach like a strap but it's not really like sticking out very well so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that so I haven't really like used this as a proper like mini bag or anything I just have this and I stuff the gold pieces inside when I'm using it so so far this one I have used to store like little things like SD cards as well I believe you can store like makeup in it if you really wanted to as well it has a Vercada tab over here so it's just something that you need to be mindful of. So I just want to contrast these with the next piece that I'm going to show you and it's my LV makeup pouch. So it looks like that. It also has like these two Vergara tabs over here and this one fits my makeup. I tend to bring this on my carry-on so it looks like that. It's just a big piece of mess. So whenever I bought the plane, I try to take my makeup off because I don't want to fly like long distances and long hours with a full face of makeup on. So when I get off the plane, I tend to want to look a little bit more presentable because like, have you seen me without makeup? <laughs> It's like I just look like I just woke up and I'm gonna punch somebody so I have to like prep myself. So this one actually contains a lot more makeup than this one would ever do. So I just thought that you know I would give you a compare and contrast between these two. On the interior they are both made out of the wipeable like LV lining. So this is the wipeable one and then for the cosmetic case because it's also meant to be like a makeup pouch it has like the wipeable lining as well so if anything spills you can like wipe it out easily but hopefully nothing spills so I don't really have to go through the hassle of doing that so I would highly recommend this one over this one actually because I think that this one just fits a whole lot more if you're looking at storing your 
makeup, like everyday makeup. This one you can probably use it for other things. I'm just not sure what, but I'm sure we all need like little bags because I like to put bags in bags in bags, like my friend said. So I have a ton of like little bags because each bag has to make sense. Like it has to serve a certain purpose and I'll put like things inside to categorize them. So that's why I have like a whole ton of SLGs and I honestly do not really need more, I'm just saying. Sticking with makeup, I also have this Toiletry Trouse by LV. This is in the vintage style and they discontinued this so far. I believe this is like the Trouse 23 or Trouse 19, I could be wrong. I'm not sure, but they have discontinued this. This one houses my everyday makeup and I have a Smoga organizer inside here as well. I use this every single day. It is always on my countertop, my makeup countertop. And I also bring this traveling every single time. So I have this with me all the time and I just really adore this and I feel like this is like the best purchase I have ever made and it's only 300 I think or like less than that because this is vintage and the lady that I got it from didn't want it anymore so I decided to pick this up from her and the leather quality is just so good. So the only thing about this is obviously the hardware has tarnished but I'm not so like concerned about that. The leather is still in really really good quality and it's the thick like vintage leather you know not the thinner ones that you get these days i feel like this is not as supple and thick as this version like the vintage canvas which is so so nice i really really like this piece a lot and i really highly recommend it but you probably have to search for it online if you want something like that so prior to using this i was always using like some sort of like rectangular uh, makeup pouch anyways and I just really like that it's in a rectangle style. I believe LV has a similar version but it's more curved like it curves at the top so I don't really like that. I love that this is like rectangle because it's like a packing cube and oh my god speaking of packing cube LV has like packing cubes now in like canvas and I really like it because you kind of like zip it's the same concept you kind of zip open but this one just like opens up and you can see every single thing I feel like this one is just a little bit more organized because if you have the Samoga organizer inside it kind of like puts your things nicely into place but with the packing cube you just like stuff things inside and I feel like if you're the kind of person that does not want things to be so organized because having things too organized like kind of restricts your space as well so if if you like that, I feel like the packing cube will work really well for you. I just don't think it's as uh, structured as this one. So yes. Sticking, sticking with vintage vanity cases, I actually have this Bottega one as well. I have featured this in my bags video, like I use this predominantly as a bag. But this was actually meant to be like a vanity case. So you open it up and then you like kind of like store your makeup inside this pouch over here but I think that this one just works really well for a bag like Bottega has a new bag that kind of looks like this I featured it in my other video if you're keen to search for this on the pre-love website you can actually search for Bottega vanity case and I think it will pop up so it looks like that it has a popper over here and there is full zip and you can fit so many things inside I just really like that after you pop this on, it looks a bit slouchy so it like kind of reminds me of like a mini puzzle bag so to speak. So this is my vintage Bottega vanity pouch. I have a few pouches in my collection to show you and the first one's actually this Loewe tea pouch. It comes in this black anagram leather and it's just really really lovely. I actually got this on carousel as well from a girl who does not want this anymore because I really wanted the version with this like white anagram print over here. They have the new versions but the new versions do not have the white anagram print so everything is just in black. So if you want something a little bit more subdued then you can go for that and I believe it now comes with gold hardware. This one at the time just came with like silver hardware so I decided to just pick this up. I think she gave me like a half price off of this which was fantastic and this one just opens up like that it's a really huge pouch and then the interior is actually made of black black fabric i tend to use this when i'm out running an errand where i do not have 
to necessarily be hands-free and I can hold it in my arm or like put it below my shoulder so that's great and then there is also this tab over here that you can slot at the back I don't really like slot it back in I'm not sure why so it kind of looks like that it's just like a design feature but I just kind of like let it hang over here and I really really like this so if you look at the cross section here it's actually wider at the bottom and it kind of tapers up to the top and you can fit a lot of things inside here which is what I really like about it so this is the Loewe tea pouch that I have another recent pouch purchase is this Dior one this is in technical fabric I think and I really like that this is so light and so malleable and it comes in gold hardware it's part of their Dior Rivera line so I really like the fact that this comes in like this really nice soft pink and grey and I just really love the fact that it's gold hardware as well and inside I have kept all the things that I would need on like a carry-on I'm not gonna dwell on this too much because I just featured this in a recent haul video that I'm gonna link up above as well I believe on the website they call this a travel pouch so I'm just gonna call it that as well and look at it it's so pretty and it has the toile de gris pattern in like pink and grey like it's just so so pretty and I love this so much I'm so glad I got it in this collection so if you want to get your hands on it I would say hurry up get your hands on one before they discontinue this collection then I don't think you can get this anymore I'm not sure if they are going to make it like a classic collection anyway the next item is actually something that I use every single day as well and it's my Chanel O case um, that I use for my laptop I can't remember what size is this but this is the largest size and it comes in this like mermaid iridescent sheen and on the and the CC over here is this pearlescent white one and just comes with like a Mona Lisa pocket at the back as well I really really adore this collection because I love this like purple and green iridescent sheen to it I had to pick it up from like a carousel seller for a slight premium because they kind of like discontinued this and I just really really like it on the interior there is a zip pocket over here which I rarely use unless I want to store things and have the thing not scratched up on my laptop then I will do that this one fits a 13 inch MacBook I have the MacBook Air and it fits it perfectly I do not think that this will fit a 15 inch because it was just nice for the 13 inch and then at the back it has this pocket over here and I just really like to stuff my phone here because it's very easy to take it in and out if I just want to like have it with me very quickly I just think that this old case is so so pretty and I just really like looking at it every day um, because I make use of my laptop every single day for work so this is the old case that I have okay I have two more items to share with you I'm not sure if you consider this as like small leather goods but I'm just going to place them in this category and they are my vanity cases so the first one that I have is my LV Nice BB it's in the monogram canvas and I absolutely love this piece I bring it on my travels and all my toiletry actually stays in this thing it is sufficient and more than enough space um, as you can see I have a whole ton of things inside here and I also have a small organizer here just to keep things you know like kind of like neat and tidy so I really love that about it so this entire thing I actually check this in in my luggage I don't bring this on board and I have a lot of miniature things that I bring with me as well so it all goes inside here and I also top it off with like shower gels and it just everything just fits in very very nicely and I love that about it so this is my Nice BB toiletry case that I go everywhere with now when I travel. The other vanity that I have is actually the Dior one. So this is a Christian Dior fabric one in the Trois de Gris pattern. I actually picked this one up I think sometime during COVID as well. I can't remember which year it was, maybe 2020. I don't typically use this very often, I'll be very honest with you. I just really like looking at it because it's so pretty. I think it wasn't the best idea to buy this first hand off in the store especially at Singapore prices 
but I just really really like this at that point of time so I decided to get it. You might be able to find this pre-love at a better price because Dior generally doesn't tend to hold its price very well. So right now it doesn't house a lot of things inside. I have my Dior Lady Dior strap here. I also have the Gucci Balenciaga strap over here and then I have like a Dior like makeup pouch over here but I feel like what I intend to use this for which is not the most practical is to store all my SLGs in this case because I kind of like need a place to store all my SLGs so that I can see at one glance like everything that I have and it's just easier to um, manage that way I guess and then place this somewhere that is easier to spot so that I can you know like kind of like interchange my SLGs often so I'm just going to attempt now to place everything in this case and see if it all fits so I have the passport I have the mini pochette I have my Chanel O case here I have the Kelly compact it goes inside here and then I can stuff a few more things inside here as well maybe the things that I don't normally use that often I can put inside and then the rest I'll just leave it out you know oh that's great so I've managed to stuff everything inside here I think it's just very very neat and tidy as you can see looks like that and the ones that I have outside are just the things that I use on a daily basis which is the Bastia and the Chanel card case which I can put on top here and then the LV key clay which I never leave anywhere without <laughs> and yeah I think that's it actually the rest are not super tiny and it all fits inside this which is great and I'm just gonna play somewhere so that I can like easily open and like interchange if I really want to interchange my SLGs I think this is like perfect to be honest and if I take these three items out let me see if I can stuff the Continental. So I can actually stuff the Continental wallet inside here and then it's just really really nice and fits perfectly inside. I think this is a great idea. Honestly, when I was intending to get this, I already know that I'm likely not going to use this for like toiletry products because I just simply have too many toiletry products. Maybe to put like perfume items probably, but I don't have a lot of perfumes. All the ones that I have are already sitting out here. So I grabbed that very easily every day before I step out. But I think this is like a great idea to store all my SLGs in. So yes so i'm going to attempt to try and rate my slgs in this collection i would say that in terms of card cases or card wallets my absolute favorite will be the chanel card case over here because i think that this is just simply the best piece out there and i just really really love it i have got a lot of use out of this as well i think that if you get this in lambskin it will be really nice as well because it's so luxurious but mine is in the caviar so this is the piece that i highly rate in my collection and i think that if you want to start out your collection and you just want a simple card case then you can either go for one of these that I have which is the YSL card case or even the LV one because I feel like they have the monogram ones so they have this in like the monogram and the reverse monogram as well so I think that's something that you can consider as well just that this one only has two pockets on the outside but this one has four pockets on the outside so I feel like this one fits a little bit more just that this one is a little bit more sturdy or if you want something that's not super common you can go for the Goyard card case I think it's really really pretty as well so I highly rate these SLGs I feel like I use them all the time they are very very useful another one that I highly rate is definitely the Bastia if you are someone who carries cash around with you all the time and you don't mind having like a separate piece to go along because honestly this doesn't take up that much space unless you stuff a lot of coins inside um, but yeah, I always carry this out and it's just sufficient for me. If you want something that is like a well-rounded all around, then I would highly recommend you go for the Loewe card case over here. So this one has card slots at the back and then inside here you can also put like coins or whatever you want. And this comes in many different colors that you can choose from. So I think they also have like different patterns that is 
not all in anagram print so definitely something you can consider LV does this as well I believe YSL does this as well if you're considering the YSL pebbled leather then you can definitely go for something like this and the other piece that I highly rate in terms of SLG is this uh, mini pochette I feel like everyone needs like a mini pochette in their life if you want something like a, as a catch-all in your bag you can actually bring this in your office bag and then you know if you want to go for lunch and you don't want to take much then you just carry this because I think it's sufficient enough so that you don't have to tote around your entire bag I don't have an office like sit around space to do that all the time so I use this as a catch-all in my bag and I really like that as well obviously if you travel a lot and you want something to keep all your toiletries in then I will highly highly recommend the Nice BB this has proved me so well and I'm so glad I did it previously I always buy like toiletry bags in like I don't know like Walmart or if I happen to walk past like a store that's selling like toiletry bags I always tend to pick them up so I thought I'll show you some of the previous toiletry bags that I used to own one of which is this like clear toiletry bag that I think I got it from London if I'm not wrong so it kind of just looks like that it's kind of mangled up already but I still keep it the other one that I used a lot was this uh, green toiletry bag that comes with all the animal prints i really like this as well but i've used this so much and because it's not in leather it has start to crack already if you can see so it has all this like cracking here which kind of bothers me a little bit but it's not super expensive so i'm okay with it i placed all my empties inside here which i'm going to do a video as well because the last time i filmed that the video kind of disappeared so i kind of like have to refilm that so i used to use this and now i'm just using the niece bb as you can see sizing wise is quite similar i feel like the niece bb can fit a little bit more but inside this one i do not really have like an organizer so i kind of like just throw things in honestly i think it makes it harder to find things from here i'm quite glad that there is like an organizer of sorts here so it's easier to find your things and it just looks more tidy that way so i really highly recommend the niece bb i love it so much so if you're wondering how this fits into a suitcase i normally check this in with like a large suitcase and i just place it flat like that and it just sits very nicely in my suitcase and doesn't like bulge all over the place and i also check in my toiletry trolls as well and it just goes like together hand in hand in the in the luggage itself oh my god i'm very worried this is gonna fall and then I usually like have a shoe bag here and it just fits into the width of the luggage very nicely. I've already kind of like figured a way to pack my things so I always do that and I think it's like brilliant. You just need to like figure out what works for you when you're traveling as well. And the last thing that I want to recommend for anyone who has a laptop and owns a laptop and brings a laptop around is definitely a laptop case. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one. I'm actually eyeing the Celine one as well. It comes in the coated canvas just to have some options because this is in leather and I think for a while I saw like a nick in it and I was like oh my god. I can't believe that there was like a nick in the leather but now that I'm looking at it, I can't find the nick anywhere. <laughs> I'm very sure there was one. So I thought maybe it would be a good idea to get like a coated canvas one because it's a little bit more durable. I tried looking for one in Goyard. But the Goyard sizing is a little bit strange. It's either too big for like a 13 inch. They have one that fits the 13 inch but they say that it's a very very tight fit. This one is like slightly roomier so there's like space to spare. But the Goyard one is just really really tight so it might be a hassle taking your laptop in and out and I don't want that. And the size above it is just too big but I feel like that fits the 15 inch if you have a 15 inch MacBook. So this one just works for me. Hopefully the Celine one does work for me as well if I ever decide to pull the plug and get that one. So I highly recommend the old case as well. So I've come to the end of my really long video. For those of you who stuck around to the end, thank you for sticking around and like hearing me ramble on about my collection. But I hope you find this very entertaining and learn something from it. Let me know in the comment section down below which one's your favorite. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!